Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now we will examine using the various navigation centers that appear in Peachtree 2007 through 2011. Once you have opened a company file, you can click on any of the names of the various navigation centers that appear within the navigation bar at the left side of the screen to then have the selected navigation center's contents appear at the right side of the screen. The Business Status Navigation Center is only available if you're using Peachtree Complete Accounting 2007 through 2011. Otherwise, you will have access to the Customers and Sales, Vendors and Purchases, Inventory and Services, Employees and Payroll, Banking, and Company Navigation Centers within the Navigation Bar. At the top of any selected Navigation Center, you will see a small Navigation Toolbar that allows you to perform some standard tasks in Peachtree. Let's examine some of the functions that can be performed using the Navigation Center Toolbar in Peachtree. First, you can choose which of the Navigation Center pages you want to display by default when you open the current Peachtree Company file. To do this, just open the Navigation Center that you want to set as the default page. Then click the Make This the Default Page button within the toolbar at the top of the Navigation Center. The display on the button will then change to display This is the Default Page once it's been set. Now you can also show or hide the content of each Navigation Center by clicking the leftmost button at the end of the Navigation Center's toolbar. This is a toggle button that will read either Show or Hide. You can click it to toggle the display of the Navigation Center's content on or off. You may notice a slight pause when you click on the name of a Navigation Center shown in the Navigation Bar. This is because when you open a Navigation Center, Peachtree refreshes the data shown to reflect any changes that were made since the data was last displayed. You can also manually force a refresh of the data shown in any Navigation Center by just clicking the Refresh button shown in the Navigation Center toolbar at the top of the window. You can also change the System Date in the Navigation Center toolbar. The System Date is a very important date. This is the default date for any transactions that you enter within the currently selected accounting period. If you select a system date that falls outside of your currently selected accounting period, then all transactions that you enter will have a default date value of the first day of the selected accounting period, ignoring the system date altogether. You can set the system date by simply clicking the System Date button in the Navigation Center toolbar. In the Change System Date dialog box that appears, you can set the date that you want to have as the system date by clicking the small calendar selector at the right end of the displayed date, and then choosing a date from the calendar dropdown. When you've set the desired system date, you can then click the OK button to confirm your selection. You can also select the accounting period for data entry by clicking the Period button that appears in the Navigation Center toolbar. In the Change Accounting Period dialog box that appears, you can select the accounting period for which you want to perform data entry from the list displayed. Then click the OK button to set the selected accounting period. Within each Navigation Center, you will have related tasks that you can perform by clicking the buttons that are available and then choosing a command to perform from the resultant drop-down menu if necessary. This replicates the functionality of the commands in the menu bar using a graphic interface. You can also view the relationship between items within Peachtree by examining the graphic interface. For new users, this can assist you in performing tasks in the correct order. For example, you can see that you should set up customers, jobs, and sales taxes before creating quotes or invoices. Now, in addition to tasks, you can also view associated lists of information and recent reports in all of the navigation centers. If you are using Peachtree Complete Accounting 2007 through 2011, 
You can also view and print various company reports in the Business Status Navigation Center that appears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.